All right. Let's go have a rainy beer together, guys. This is far from my normal filming location. <clears throat> and the place that I'm at has a lot of very historical and really cool abandoned places. I think I need the keys for this. Right. So, as many of you know, I am based out of Colorado in the United States. And I really wanted to get back to doing the sort of travel based and, you know, abandoned building, spooky travel places, because that's really what I started out doing. But with everything involving, you know, the Rona and all that, and then getting sort of a, a real job, that kind of put a damper on a lot of things. But I really wanted to get back into that, because that's really why I started doing this in the first place, and this is what I've always been interested in. So yeah, that's really what I've been interested in, and that's what I've wanted to do for a while. But with all the things going on in current, current life with the Rona and you know, me getting a real job, all of that, kind of put a damper on it. <clears throat> and I figured even with the real job, I should be able to travel and do some stuff, but then the Rona hit and I haven't really been able to go anywhere. So, I'm finally, finally out of America. Finally. And the place that I'm in is loaded with super cool shit to see. There's a lot of really old historical places. There's a lot of places where like crazy historical events have happened. And there's a ton of abandoned places. So, we've got a, a whole mess of things to make videos about. So, there's everything from an abandoned underground Air Force base to wartime massacre sites. There's all sorts of awesome abandoned places that I can't wait to go to and make videos about. So, <clears throat> not gonna give too many details on the location just yet, but those ain't American license plates. So, oh, that is awesome. I don't know what happened there, but I bet some cheap departments are coming up. <laughs> so, anyway, I know the content has slowed down lately. I know I've been posting just YouTube shorts about me and my friends hitting the shooting range and all that. But I've been saving all, all of it up to show you around this lovely European country. And I can't wait to go explore some of these places. I'll see you guys very soon. So this is pretty sweet right here. They have a cryptocurrency ATM. With Bitcoin, Chainlink, Stellar, DAI, ETH, Ethereum, Ripple, Yearn Finance, Maker, Tether, USD Coin, Uniswap, Paxos. That's pretty cool. <laughs> As somebody who dabbles in the crypto it's kind of nice that you can come here and if you're like oh man there's something i just really want or i just i really want to go on this tour or i really want to go on a whatever you need cash for in a foreign country you can cash out crypto so it's pretty slick and given how crypto's bounced back recently that's actually not too bad let's check this out
So I absolutely uh, love European cities. Capitals are kind of meh because you get a lot of the same exact stores at every place. It's not, not too much different barring a little bit of architecture. But one thing I really dislike is the absurd amount of graffiti. It's like, <laughs> bro, you, you can live in you could live in some part of America or something that's horrible, but you live in a beautiful, beautiful place in a beautiful country. Why would you go spray paint everything? That's just one thing that bothers me. But that's a pretty cool little outdoor area. I also love how many dogs are in this city. It's a very dog-friendly city. Uh, it makes me happy.